Now, today we are Skyping our dear friend Louis Brown, who used to play for the Vodafone Warriors. Yet last year in March, he packed his bags and he moved to Sydney, where now he's playing for the Penrith Panthers. So, please welcome by Skype, Louis. How you doing, my man? Good, thanks yourself. Yeah, real good, real good. Um, so, you're in Sydney right now. What's it like? What's it like living in Sydney? Oh, if I look at the window now, it's um, actually pouring down with rain. It's a bit foggy, but uh, <laughs> lately um, it's been beautiful weather. Really enjoying it. Really enjoying the new club, uh, settling into the lifestyle, and and just really enjoying uh, playing footy over here. Yeah. Any changes playing for the Penrith Panthers? Uh, not, 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 not really. You know, the boys out here are a very similar bunch to the Warriors. Very uh, family orientated club with lots of um, great blokes and, and a really good coach and we're just sort of starting to find our way at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you're full on into it because this Sunday you're playing against the West Tigers. So is there anything that you do now to get yourself in the mood or geared up? Yeah, we've, we've had a good break. We had the bye um, <clears throat> the weekend just been. So a uh, good time to really freshen up the body. I uh, had a few niggles in that, uh, a few little injuries, but uh, ready to go against the Tigers. Um, We've won three in a row now, so we're going for four in a row, but really uh, tough ask against the Tigers, who, uh, who have got a really good side. You know, Benji Marshall, one of the uh, main guys, guys there, who's a, who's a big uh, big New Zealander, and I was just really looking forward to the challenge, but you know, for me, it's just about uh, preparing well and uh, you know, make sure I get that, that, all that good food and energy into me ready to go for Sunday's game. Yeah, yeah, like what kind of food? Anything in particular you eat before a game? Uh, my partner, she makes me um, um, pasta usually before the game. I like to eat pasta uh, and I don't mind always having ice cream before I play uh, the night before it. But ice um, cream. that's just a trick for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's wicked. That might be the little secret right there. Um, so, Louis, in the big picture, the League World Cup is happening this year in October over in England and the UK. So, who are you going to be cheering for? Uh, definitely the Kiwis. Um, you know, I've Played for the Kiwis in the past, so you know, hopefully my uh, my form can warrant uh, a selection in, in that side. So uh, we'll see what happens. Um, it's a long season st still to go yet, and um, yeah, but I really love to put on the black jumper at the World Cup. It's, it'd be um, yeah, it's a dream of mine. So that'd be awesome. Uh, yeah, and we would love to see you in that black jumper. So our fingers are crossed for you is with that. And of course, you get to play with some of your old buddies from the Warriors again, um, which you played against them on the 18th of May this year. What, what was it like going up against your friends? Yeah, it, it was kind of weird. But um, in saying that, I'd really I'd played against them in a trial earlier on the year. But you know, this this time uh, it was it was for two points and uh, competition points and. You know, luckily uh, for us Penrith boys, uh, we got we got the water over them this time. Uh, it was a very good win. I uh, got myself two tries, and uh, but yeah, it was just good to catch up the boys. And you know, it was, it was a bit of a weird feeling playing against them because you know that, that you know some of them are my lifelong long buddies, and you know, some of them are really good mates. So. Um, but once again, once again, it's um, it was once uh, really good to get the wood over them. Yeah, yeah. Anyone in particular that you keep in touch with, or who are these buddies that you speak of? Yeah, I always speak to uh, Sean Johnson or, or Jacob Lilliman and, uh, and Russell Packer and Ben Madalena. That's sort of uh, four four of the guys I'm really really close with. Still at the Warriors, and uh, you know, we, we keep in contact um, daily. Oh, they are good dudes. Hey, so, in your opinion, who is a player to look out for at the moment? Who's an up-and-coming star? Uh, in our side, um, we've probably got a young kid uh, by the name of Adam Docker. Um, yeah, he's, he's only 22, but you know, he's probably one of the best tacklers in the game I've ever seen. Um, he loves doing weights, and uh, yeah, he's built like a bodybuilder, but he's, he's, he's a very good player. Nice. And on our side of the ditch, I'd like to um, just warn you about Isaac John. Yeah, so watch out for him because he's a legend. Um, now, um, we've got some pink boots, a picture of a pink boots that you put on Instagram. Tell us about these. Yeah, they're just uh, um, a pair of boots that my sponsors gave me ASICs uh, to wear um, during the Women in the League run. Um, they have a Women in the League run here to um, you know, thank all the ladies behind the scene, scenes, you know, the wives, you know, the ladies that work in the tuck shop, you know, the, the people, the women who work, work on the board. and. And you know they, they they raise money to go towards um, you know charities such as breast cancer and stuff like that. So you know obviously um, you know everyone knows women that you know are women that like to wear pink. So um, we you know the NRL have decided that you know we celebrate it by uh, turning everything pink for one week. And uh, for me, it was wearing a pair of boots and 
and Essex gave me them and uh, I wore them and they got auctioned off um, you know, after the game and, and, and someone you know, bidded and, and brought them. So I think it's a really good concept and uh, yeah, it's for a good cause and you know, I don't think uh, women, women, women in all sports get uh, recognised enough. That's awesome and such a cool thing that you're doing and it's such a cool thing to have you here on the show, Louis. So thank you for that. You're going to stick around and show us your collection. So whatever you do, don't leave your seat. Now, if you're just tuning in today, we have Louis Brown joining us via Skype. He plays for the Penrith Panthers, and you are going to show us a collection of yours, Louis. Yeah, I've just got um, five jerseys that are, um, are very special to me, so um, I'll get it under the way, underway. Okay. Uh, first jumper is my first ever rugby league jumper I played in uh, when I was four years old for the Maris Western Suburbs in Christchurch. Oh my God, it's tiny. Yeah, it's small. Uh, Second one would be my, um, my Warriors debut jersey, um, 2009. Uh, my first ever you know, game in the NRL, a uh, really special jumper to me. Jumper to me. Yeah. Uh, next one would be uh, uh, my Kiwis um, debut jumper. Uh, it was, a, it was a, uh, in 2011 at, up in the Gold Coast against Australia. Um, it's got a little emblem on the side for uh, Christchurch and the Anzacs too. Oh, cool. Hopefully you get another one of those jumpers this year. Next one will be, um, you know, my um, my grand final jumper that we played uh, against Manly in the grand final in uh, 2011. Uh, we didn't win the game, but just a really you know, uh, special moment for me and, and something that you know I'll always remember. We will all remember. And um, this jumper here is um, the Chocolate Soldiers. Uh, it's a it's a heritage jumper from the Penrith Panthers that we wore against the Melbourne Storm. Uh, first time we've beaten the Melbourne Storm since 2005. So. And that's really turned our fortunes around. So uh, this jumper here is one of my favourites. Um, I re I'm, re I'm all about the heritage and the old school kind of stuff. So uh, to wear a chocolate soldiers jumper uh, for the first time was awesome. Did you say chocolate? Yeah, chocolate soldiers. They caught that back in the uh, late late uh, late seventies and early eighties. Uh, in the late eighties, they uh, had brown jumpers, and they used to be called the chocolate soldiers. <laughs> That's cool. We just learned so much then, Louis. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you want to keep track of this man, he's big on Twitter. So you can follow him on Twitter and um, keep track of all his games and everything he's up to. But once again, thank you so much for joining us from Sydney and all the best. And good luck for making the Kiwis. Thank you very much. Uh, can I just make a quick shout out to my, uh, my family back in Christchurch, all my, uh, my little cousins out in Kaipoi and uh, my family in Belfast too. Love you all. Oh, you're a beautiful man. We love you. Thank you very much.